Alright, so I'm going to go over a cool JavaScript technique with you guys. Um, it's basically a way to automatically select the value of a select box. Now, this has probably been beaten to death, but there's whenever you're not using a pre-built system, okay, so beginners starting out or advanced users making custom systems, you tend to have an issue with select boxes. Let me explain. You're going to load a bunch of data in, and for these guys, for input boxes, it's super simple. You just set the value when you load it in, and boom, it's here on the page. But it's not so easy for uh, select boxes. You can't set the value on a select box because it just won't, it won't pick it. Okay, if you just set the value on a select box, nothing happens. It's still the wrong value. Okay, if I'm a multi, so this is set to single. Even though if I go to the database, it's set to subscription type two. So if I actually inspect this element here, just to show you what's going on, um, ignore this for a second. The option, uh, I, I need two to be selected. I need multi to be selected, but but one is selected, and that's because uh, I actually set the value here, and we're going to use this in a second. But setting the value here does absolutely nothing. It doesn't tell it to switch to the right guy. So, we're going to write a cool little piece of JavaScript that will allow you to set this value here, just like you do an input box, and it will automatically click the guy that it wants. Okay, it's a really good technique. So, what we have to do is basically, let's look at, the, let's look at how we're loading the data in the first place. So, we're here. Okay, so I'm storing into a variable s, and I'm calling a function called get subscription info, which basically just pulls a bunch of stuff from the database and sort it in stores it into s okay so we come down here and here's s start date s expiration date s subscriber id blah 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 blah. okay this stuff is so straightforward you just come straight from the database right into the value super simple okay but here not so simple traditionally if you want to do something like this okay you would have uh you you would have the select items and then you would actually loop through the options until you found the one that equaled this and then you would then set like selected onto it so you'd have some messy php mixed in here kind of kind of doing the work to figure out which one to select it's messy we don't like that so what we're going to do is just like the text boxes we're just going to set the value equal to our type okay which is going to be one of these two numbers okay we're just going to set the value on the select box that's it nothing else okay now we're gonna come over to our util.js file which is a file that I have included on every project for every page okay so that means if if I set the value where am I if I set the value I just want it to automatically select that's what we're trying to do so um, traditionally the value pro the value attribute is not set on a select box so we can actually identify those so we'll grab all select items okay that have the value set very easy. And we will dot each of these. This is not going to be a jQuery plugin. It's just going to be kind of a little piece of code. Let's console.log uh, this, being the DOM element, this, not the jQuery element. And go ahead and refresh the page and take a look. And here we see our select with our value of 2, even though 1 is selected. Okay? So let's take a look at three different things. So we want to get that 2. We want to get that 2 and select it. So we're going to say, let's, let's see what our um, this dot value is, which is the property. We're going to see what our jQuery um, this dot val function returns us, and we're also going to see what our jQuery um, this dot attribute attribute value. Ugh. There we go. So we're going to see what all three of these guys are. Remember, we're trying to get that two, okay? Because that two is set as the value. So let's try and get that two. So if we refresh, one one one. Now, this is very interesting to find out. Okay, so what we're finding out is that this dot value gives us one, this val gives us one, and this attribute value also gives us one. And that's because jQuery is actually using the same thing for both of these. You know what jQuery is using for attribute val and val? It's using this dot value. Why is this dot value one when I set the value of the select box to two? Well, that's because if we inspect the element, you see that the property, if we come down here, the property is actually 1. Why is the property 1? Well, what is selected right now? 1 is selected. Just because I set the value on 2 doesn't make the actual value of the property equal to 2. That's what we have to do. So, how the hell do we get the 2 if when we get the attribute, it doesn't use it? Well, we actually have to resort back to JavaScript. So, if we delete all this and say console.log, and let's get to some regular JavaScript, this.getAttribute value, okay, this right there will return us our two, 
which is great. So, using pure JavaScript, we can actually get the real attribute value, not jQuery or trying to use the property. So, in order to change a select box, in order to actually select the item we want, you actually just set the value. <laughs> and that's setting the property, not the attribute. So, all we really have to do is say this.val, so now we're setting the value, okay? I know it's a little confusing, but we're setting the value equal to this.get attribute value. Okay? Again, what this is doing, it's selecting all select boxes with value set as an attribute, and we're going to set the property, because the val does not set the attribute, it sets the property, equal to the JavaScript attribute for value. So if we refresh this page, you will see now multi is selected. So, this is now super, super simple. With this piece of code, all you have to do to have your select boxes select is just set the value, just like you would any other input box. Super cool.